y'all and welcome back for another review of ready to love i am prissy solo and thank you so much for stopping by now look this call is urgent i cannot wait whenever i call y'all and sis is in bed sis got something on her head you know it's urgent okay it's urgent um just when i thought that this was going to be a filler episode and that it was just going to be just kind of emotional i swear Kalfani and Denise then got it started but anyways before we get there speaking of Kalfani and Denise in the beginning of the episode they are having this chat and in this chat Kalfani finally comes out and tells Denise that she is no longer his number one and that he's now feeling Adriana a tad bit more which I was so glad like on my last review I was just that's all I wanted for him to say to Denise because I knew that once Denise got that information, that she wasn't finna be keep swinging from his balls. That she was gonna go make it do what it do with Anthony and move on. And so, um, she was hurt. And rightfully so. Um, you know, it stung. And, I'm, and I felt bad for her. But I wanted her to know that information instead of being left in the blind. Because she kept Kalfani as her number one the entire time. Moving on. We get the terrible news that Joy's sister passed away and that Joy um, will be leaving the resort to go be with her family. Um, she had literally talked to her sister a couple of hours before and suddenly she passed away. I don't think they said what she had passed away from and it was very, very emotional. I was in here crying because um, they was crying and um, nephew Tommy had brought up how hard it was for him when his father passed away and you guys I was in here crying because death is so hard you guys um, even though I it just made me think about my nephew uh, my sister's son had passed away a few years ago and it still stings there's nothing that you get over and so it was just like taking the band-aid off for me and it just made me really 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 think about how we never know what's coming around the corner like nephew tommy said and how you know life is just too short and oh my gosh y'all just hearing her so break down like that it just took me to a place where um i just remembered my my nephew passed away all of our family had came together and um nephew tommy said it best he said sometimes people are trying to figure out the right words to say and sometimes you don't have to say anything just being there and i remember that feeling. I remember sitting next to my sister right after we ha we heard about um, her son passing away and trying to figure out what do I say. And I had no words and I could do nothing but just lay my head on her shoulder and um, we just sat there. We didn't say anything. And, and like he said, sometimes that is just enough, just being there. So that was very emotional. Um, at this point, Jay decides um, that it is best for him to leave too, that um, he should go and comfort and be with Joy. And that really solidified their relationship for me because I've always wondered, like, what was it about Jay that Joy saw? Because we have received so little about Jay. Like, he hasn't, to me, had been open. So this was the first episode where I really was able to see Jay. And I felt like that was a great decision for him to make. I, um, I was totally right. She said it best. He said, that's grown man stuff right there. And um, yeah, kudos for them. Um, maybe their relationship may be, you know, the real deal after all. Also, Joy, <laughs> Joy's milkshake got all the boys leaving the yard. Not coming to the yard, but leaving the yard. That's how you know she is such a feminine woman and has that type of exudes that, um, aura about her because once jay said he was leaving and stuff edwin later on told the group that he feels like his strongest connection was with um joy as well and that he also you know will be leaving the show which um wasn't surprising because like in my last review i told y'all that i felt like i didn't see it for denise and i didn't see it for edwin moving forward so that was a good decision but that just goes to show you just the kind of woman Joy um, is because <laughs> they was like, look, ain't nothing, ain't nothing else here for me at this point. So Joy, um, my condolences to you. Her sister was beautiful. They showed a picture of her sister at the end. And I don't know, I wasn't expecting anything, but she just looked so young and it just really kind of like, what did she pass away from? Um, they looked exactly like beautiful black woman. Um, 
yeah, they, yeah, they had me in here boohooing. And I really seriously had took a break. Went and got me some food. I'm thinking this is just a filler episode. I actually had let it play. I didn't even pause it as I went in the kitchen and stuff. And then I came back and I had to rewind it because I had seen it started, they, it started heating up. Okay, so let's talk about it. Can we talk about it? And there may be some things that I miss um, because I'm not going to go and break down verbatim each piece by piece of what happened. I'm going to give y'all the meats and potatoes of what stood out to me and why I had to call y'all so urgently. Okay, so um, Denise is sitting on the couch when Kalfani approaches her. And Denise, you know, tells him, look, I've been thinking and having a, a soul searching, whatever she said. With myself and basically um, I came to the conclusion that I have a deeper connection with um, Anthony. Um, also, I feel like we need to break up. We should break up and I'm falling for Anthony. Now, this is what I'm going to have to say. This is what I got to say. I swear, children don't want nothing until you get on the phone. That's when they do all their talking. Don't say nothing to you all day until you get on the phone. If you're a parent and you know that to be true, I need you to thumbs up this video or leave a comment because those are facts. Anyways, so like I was saying, so this is what made me upset. And we're going to dig into it. So Kalfani is really like, what? Bro break up. I wasn't under the impression that we were um, going together. Um, this is what he says in the confessional. So he's really thrown off by the term break up. And this is what I didn't like. Listen, men, because I get into it with my man all the time about this. Stop taking things so literal. Like, sometimes we can say things and they just digest it. Like, obviously, y'all weren't going together. When she says breakup, she meant, like, separating herself from you and no longer pursuing you. She has to spell it out. I think I will feel like that's obvious. Like, I guess she was supposed to say exactly what... Um, Alicia said to Brian where I'm no longer going to pursue you any further but I mean come on it was just a literal term like she literally laughed you laugh like I cannot stand that about men I cannot stand that it's just like you know you say certain things and they're so stuck on that friend it's like it's a it, it was just a, a, a figment of speech it wasn't literal literally like break up obviously we're not together to break up I'm whatever that that blew me um, but what also blew me, Denise, and this is what I have to say, is when you said, I'm falling for Anthony, and the reason why I told, um, Kalfani this was to see if he was gonna fight for me, to see if I was gonna get a reaction. Listen, ladies, please learn from Denise. Learn from Denise's mistakes. You don't ever say something to a man to get a reaction. Never say something to a man that you don't mean just to get a reaction. You telling him that you in love with another guy when in fact you're or fought not in love falling for another man when in fact you're literally falling for him and be, because he's not choosing you and it's hurting your feelings you want to ruffle him up and see um, if he's you're, you can get any type of emotion from him no take these men that you are dating at face value at face value. What he's giving you and shows you is what you need to take from that. He's tell He told you that he's pursuing Adriana. So there was no need for you to try to say something to find out if he was going to fight for you. Because obviously he already decided that he was no longer in it for the in it for you anymore so that was pointless to do that was don't don't do that that was not a good luck um good look denise i didn't i didn't think that was really bright um on your end now and because look what happened you were in the, you were disappointed he you were disappointed he did not react the way you wanted him to now this is my problem with calfani it was all good as long as Denise was swinging from your balls, as long as she was all on your nuts. It was all good. But the minute that she tells you that she's no longer uh, dealing with you no more and she's going to go after Anthony and she's falling for Anthony, what he go do? What he go do? Go gossip. Gossip. Kalfani, oh my MG. I cannot believe you. You go and go have that talk with Anthony. First of all, Denise, don't ever make the mistake. And other women watching, you made the mistake in thinking that bros don't talk, that men don't talk to homies, don't talk to each other. That was your mistake, okay? Now, Kalfani, you are dead ass wrong 
for trying to throw a wrench in what Denise had going on with Anthony just because she's no longer chasing after you. What do you care? What do you care? So let me tell y'all what he did. He takes Anthony to the side and has this talk with Anthony and tells him all about the conversation he has with Denise. Okay, cool. I mean, I, not really cool, but cool. Okay, y'all talk, whatever. This is what I didn't like. He tells um, Anthony that Denise says that he's falling for that she's falling for him. First of all, that wasn't that wasn't your place to tell. Um, if that's that woman's feelings, she needs to be able to express herself. Second, he says something like, "Oh, I'm passing it on to you now. I'm passing her on to you." I didn't like that. You're not passing her on to him. She deaded it with you, and told you that this is where I'm going. You're not passing her to him. So I didn't like that. Um, Anthony, stop being so gullible. Anthony, stop being so gullible. You should not let somebody else be able to come tell you something and take it all um, in as 100% the truth. Anthony ate all that up. He, You could see the disdain in his face. Oh, well, uh, so I'm sloppy seconds. Huh? Oh, so I'm just the second option. First of all, you already knew that. You already knew that Calfani was her number one. She told you that in her in your face. So I didn't. So stop acting gullible, okay? Two or clueless, I should say. Two. You don't even know what what's his what's his motive. What, what why is he coming and saying this to you? You need to go and have a talk with her, which he did. He did go talk with her, but you could tell that going into the conversation, Anthony already looked. To be honest with you, disinterested. He looked. He looked bothered. And obviously so by what Calfani said. Calfani, I am so, ooh, Denise, you, you, did, you didn't lose nothing losing Calfani, obviously. This man is not a prize because that behavior, pay attention, y'all. You will learn so much about people when you reject them. Pay attention to how people respond to rejection. That man that tried to holler at you at the club and then you tell him you got a man or you're not interested and then it's F-U-B, you ain't all that and you you fat or all this kind of stuff. That, but, but when he was trying to holler, it's hi, beautiful, can I get to know you? Trying to put his best foot forward, but then he revealed himself once he felt rejected. That's when you, that's, that's who that person really is. So anyways, Kafani, you revealed who you really are. Moving on. So the conversation with Anthony and Denise. Now, Denise, I, sister, every time, my sister, my sister, every time I try to have your back, you do something else. So, during the conversation with um, Anthony, she says, you know, I'm falling for you. And Anthony was like, eh, did it. That's not genuine. And, you know, um, I, I believe that. I, I believe that. I believe that. I believe that she was laying it on thick. I don't think that she was being honest um even when she told winter winter was like yeah i think that she's talking strategy i don't you know my i don't really don't think that's the real deal now yeah so i can see that being a turn off like i don't don't be falling in love with me too soon don't <laughs> don't be saying you are don't play like you are don't be lying that you are and don't for real for real be falling too soon for me because that is the ultimate turn off but um i felt like that mixed with the conversation that he had already had with Calfani is what played a part in Anthony just totally backing out from Denise. So much so that when there's a conversation that happens, um, no, no, no. So nephew Tommy tells them, look, we down to the nitty gritty at this point. It's Winter, Calfani, Adriana, Rashid, and Denise. And Anthony where now is the time that you need to cut off your number two and rock it out with your number one we got family members coming next um, next and this is the real deal now so Anthony decides you know what this is gonna be a really hard conversation but I already kind of know where I stand so I'm just gonna go ahead and let Denise know ah uh, okay mm. I mean I guess I mean why wait I mean, I was going to say I don't like how he had that conversation in front of everybody. But to be honest with you, I don't really feel like Anthony went about it wrong. I'm going to tell you who did. So listen. 
So Anthony pulls Denise to the side and he tells her, look, I'm going to go ahead and go with Winter. Um, I had a talk with Calfani and Calfani also told me that he's going to go ahead and move on with, um, proceed with his other option. And she's like, I want Calfani to tell me that. Why? Why do you need Calfani to come tell you that? He already told you that. And that's how I know you are so stuck on Calfani. It was never really all about Anthony. Because you were not, she was not taken aback at all. She actually even said to him, oh, winter's a good look for you. That's, yeah, that, I can see that. Um, she wasn't salty at all. At all. She immediately, when he mentioned, Calfani told me that you're, he's not going to go. She act like it was news to her. Like it was the first time she heard it. And she demanded that he go get, and I say demand, y'all be trying to get on people's choice of words when, when you're talking about a black woman. She asked him to go and get um, Calfani. Better. And so, which was unnecessary. It was, it was not. To be honest with you, I felt like that conversation shouldn't have happened I felt so bad for Denise. I want to give you a, a hug, a virtual hug. I know we posted social distance, so if you want to pound it. I felt so bad for my sis right then and there when Calfani also came and um, broke things off with her. Because that walk that she has to do in front of the women that y'all chose, I just feel like that conversation shouldn't have happened there. But I really don't feel like it's Anthony's fault because I do feel like it was secluded. It was out the way. It could have been about anything. He could have got up and left. And hey, what happened to Denise later on? And he chose to tell them whatever. Um, it's when you asked for Calfani to come. And now you're getting broken up with twice. Um, in front of these men's choices. That made me feel so bad for her. I just felt like, oh my gosh. Like, you know. Uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Um, anyways. What else? That because that's really pretty much the meats and potatoes for me and what I wanted to talk about. Why I had to? Why it was so urgent for me to call y'all? Um, but I'll since we already on the line, I, we could talk about Adriana. So Adriana is definitely riding it all the way out to the end. Um, I guess maybe for a storyline. I'm not sure. Um, she's not again not giving any insight or clue like I told y'all in the last review of who she can possibly pick. I'm not sure if it's coming from a place of she just genuinely does not know who she should go with and she's stuck between the two or not. Um, or she just, you know, for perks for the show. Um, so, as you know, as y'all know, she has Rashid and she has Kafani. Um, I think that Rashid is ready to love. Maybe I'm just really turned off by Kafani's actions in this last episode. Um, not sure she's going to actually make the right decision. I feel like she has a, she, she's, she says that Rashid is what she needs. And it seems like Kafani may be what she wants. Um, like it may be like, I'm not going to say like love. Cause I don't think any of them are genuinely in love, but like lust over love almost to say. And I do, I am starting to think that maybe Rashid is going to, um, get his heart broke. Cause, um, he really is interested in Adriana. And the only reason why I don't, I question if Kafani is, I just don't. I understand this is a is um a options. This is all about exuding your options, using your options. But the way that he kind of um led Denise on and got you know got all this number one, number one, number one, and then he flipped. It just makes me think makes me think that he could potentially do the same thing to Adriana. Um, but Adriana is actually kind of the same person too because she did the same exact thing to Rashid. But hey, what do I know? Um. So, yeah, that's that's those options. Um, so, Anthony and Winter, I guess we pretty much already know that that's, that's that. Um, Winter told Anthony that she's all she's that she's all in it for him. So, him getting rid of Denise. That's exactly what I said was going to happen in the last episode. I said Edwin and Denise. And sure enough, it happened twice in one episode. I did not see. I did not see this coming this episode. Like, two. Like, actually, we lost four people. Um, I look forward to the reunion. I'll tell y'all this at the end of every episode. Um, drop down below and let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Okay, can we, can we, I need somebody to talk, like some, does somebody watch the show? Like we need to talk about this. Also, share this video and thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, later.